with Miss Grace. Say hi. Say hi, friends. Hi, beautiful people. <laughs> Today, I'm all dolled up sans lip and sans fragrance because today we are going to Kaya Vineyards. I'm so excited. My friend and I are going to a vineyard in North Georgia. So I'm gonna take you guys along with us today. I have actually never been to a vineyard and I wanted to go to a vineyard for my birthday two years ago but the Porsche Panamera. So this is like a little redemption. We're going on a little road trip. It is in Cleveland, Georgia, I believe. Someplace up there. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit, what I'm bringing, and then I will vlog on the road. I am so excited. So excited. So we're going to do a Bordeaux mixing class. I had to mix and create our own wines. We're also gonna do a wine tasting and then explore the vineyard. All the festive fanfare. You guys, <laughs> I live for a good fabulous moment like this. We were trying to plan something to do, but we wanted something different, something that was Porsche Panamera safe. We just needed to get out of the city a little bit. Things are just crazy and ridiculous in Atlanta. So we're headed north for a bit. This is my new Teddy Blake bag. Obsessed. It reminds me of an Hermes bag and it's perfect for a little day at the vineyards. Um, so I just have my tripod in here. I'm finally using my Gucci cosmetics case from two years ago. This is my dress. It's like a midi length white, very see-through but comfortable dress. I got this from Ava and Vive at Target. I love it so much. It has button up detailing down the front and a waist tie. This is a size 1X, you guys. Your girl has been working. <laughs> like, I feel so, I feel amazing. Like, where are all my skinny legends? So yeah, this is my outfit. Just something really comfy and casual for a vineyard. These little Forever 21 sandals. I love them so much. I need to get a nice pair of cognac sandals. And then I just have my hat. Let me grab that. Hat from Target. This is from A New Day. I think you guys have seen this on Instagram before. I'm not gonna put it all the way on my head because I hate getting makeup on my hat. But my friend was like, you need to bring your hat because it's a total vibe. So vibe check complete. I'm not wearing a lippy because we're gonna be trying lots of wines and I don't want my lippy to get messed up. I'm also not wearing a fragrance because we're gonna be tasting, smelling, mixing, and everything of the sort. Although I'm very sad that I can't wear a fragrance today. You guys know that I live for a good fragrance moment, so I'm a little upset. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. I just have it filled in my lips and I will link all the makeup I'm wearing down below. Gray hair, Lorena Bob popping. Beautiful doll out here on a gorgeous day at the vineyard. Yes. Yes. Watch your steps. Watch your steps. Service animals welcome. Won't be unique. What are those? The doll. Barrels in here, so typically 
Uh, the one thing that we are super proud of is that we are completely a state, so we're not outsourcing any great juices from California or Bordeaux or anything like that. It's all made on the property, so we love being local like that. Uh, we are also one of the largest sources of Chardonnay in the state of Georgia, so mm. we have plenty of acreage, we have lots of wine, so um, we're actually growing over what we can process right now, which is a crazy thing we haven't run into yet. Um, behind you guys, with us being a state, that means we're bottling and producing everything on the property as well. So all the bottles will go in on the left side, they'll get injected with wine right here, and then we'll come over to this side and they'll get pork packed and boiled. And this machine does all of that for us, wow. which is super nice. Uh, usually this thing can usually produce around 1,100 bottles in an hour, and that's on a slow setting. I Welcome love back this. to chemistry lab, I usually say. <laughs> Uh, this is where Dave works. He is our head winemaker here. Dave uh, Pratt is his name and he is fantastic. So we'll learn more about him and all this crazy stuff that's going on here. But you guys see what it is here. Today, which is super fun, you guys can drink it like on your way home or in six months or a year. Um, so that's all up to you guys. Um, <laughs> some people are like, no, we're saving this and drinking this on our anniversary. And I've had some people are like, I'm drinking this on my own. So, <laughs> Um, it's really fun. Either or. Yeah. Uh, what we'll be starting today with is our 2017 Ultima Low. Um, one thing that's really fascinating about all of these vintages and varietals is that they all come out a little bit differently from year to year. So your 2017 Merlot is going to be different than your 2018 Merlot, 19 going forward. So that's what makes each wine really unique. Love that sound. Um, <laughs> we love it. Um, do. Have you been to, I think I already asked you, you haven't been to any of the other wineries nearby? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. You guys started on the best one, so <laughs> you guys have Obviously. great taste, of yes. course. <laughs> um, so what we'll do is, before we do anything, typically in wine tasting fashion, it's supposed to be a full uh, sensory experiment, so I'm going to try a little bit with you guys and show us how it's done. Right? Looking at, looking at. So you can raise it to the yeah. light, see how it looks. Um, overall, this is going to be, we're going from lighter body to heavier body. Um, that's the, typically the best way it makes sense so your palate doesn't get overwhelmed with all these crazy flavors, but we also have some water for you guys in between. So first look at it. What I'll then have you guys do is take a big sniff of it. So smell your wine and you can take, stick your whole nose in there, get a good whiff. Usually all the sommeliers are like huffing mm -hmm. the wine, <laughs> trying to get all the flavors. So totally normal. Smell the wine. You guys do is give it a swirl. Uh, basically what we're doing is in the bottling process, there is carbon dioxide used. So whenever you hear people saying let your wine breathe or when they put in a decanter or use a wine um, aerator, all that is doing is kind of burning off some of that carbon dioxide that's used in the bottling process and introducing more oxygen. So if you kind of think it in reverse logic, um, for example, if you have like a Coke that's super flat, a lot of oxygen has been introduced to it, so the sharper flavors are off of it. No one likes a flat Coke, especially in a diet. Um, <laughs> but, but for a wine, you do want it to be flat. You want more oxygen in there. It's going to round up the tannins and make your wine overall a little bit more smooth. Um, so go ahead, give it a swirl. Um, swirl it around. And then what I'm going to have you guys do is smell it again. You'll notice a whole different flavor aspect. Oh, yeah. Brighter. Yeah. A lot brighter. You definitely get more of the flavors. It opens up a little more. It's not so much of that harsh alcohol scent that's going to like hit the back of your nose. Mm -hmm. like. So, um, <clears throat> now that we've opened it up and let it uh, breathe a little bit, you guys can go ahead and take a little sip. just slurping the wine, so it's um, it's okay to do it in wine um, etiquette, but um, by doing that, by uh, introducing even more oxygen into your mouth, you're able to even burn off more alcohol and oxygen, and what you're left with is just the grape juice itself. So that's how you're able to kind of tell these like subtle differences between like our Merlot and our San Giovese, and just any reds in general. You're not going to notice a whole lot of legs on this one, but those start to appear in a few minutes. After we go into the San Jose Day and the Tripecta, you'll definitely notice it a lot. Um, but our Merlot is fantastic. It's light, it's got fruity tones to it. Like it's that. not going to dry your mouth out completely mm -hmm. like a Cabernet or a San Jose would, but um, it's really, really nice. For people who are super huge into reds, I typically pour the Merlot. It's a nice starter red, um, and it goes really well by itself, so it doesn't necessarily need to be paired with. And 
Yes. Back to those. Uh, we're finishers. Yeah, we don't waste wine here. Mm -mm. We're finishers. Uh, <laughs> It's a really long process. It's a process. Yeah, yeah, it definitely makes you appreciate from being out in the field to being uh, processed and then bottled and then up on the bar. So there's a lot of time and energy that goes into yeah. point A to point B, but um, it's really how we can kind of alter and change some of these flavors and get different aspects out of our lines. But go ahead and try the Tripecta. Um, this one is really popular upstairs. I would say it's one of our best sellers at the moment. It's sort of like a Pinot Noir, so it mm. sits kind of right in the middle. It's not too light, not too heavy, but this one is really nice. This one should get some decent amount of streaks into it. Mm. Yeah, so you can see some lights going on in here. Just it's a little bit of sort of nice separation. Mm. It almost has a cherry color versus mm. that other one that was more of like a light red. Yeah, the Ultimate is definitely lighter in body. I know. Color great for a um, Chardonnay. Right. Yeah, for sure. It's you would really expect you wouldn't expect for it to be like that cloudy and almost like purpley. That looks um, like a red. Like yeah. A red. <laughs> or even a rose, like right. not as white. And then um, after it's been sitting in the sink over here for some time, um, all of those grape skins and sediments will settle all to the bottom. And, and that's then what, what we're left with is more of a clarified juice. So up here, this is all going to be Chardonnay juice or Viognier juice or whatever we're using. And then what we're left with at the bottom is all just primarily grape skin. So it's all the soot and all the seeds and right. all the skins and everything else that we don't want. Um, so that's kind of the clarifying process. And that all happens in this tank right here. Wow. So as you can see, all of the soot that's going to go to the bottom, that's the reason why there's a hose on the top. So we're able to drain out just the juice and everything else that's just left in the bottom up there. We'll recycle and put out into the vineyards and use that as like fertilizer yeah. and nutrients back mm -hmm. into the soil. So that's sort of similar with Bordeaux regions. They're really, you know, proud of their Viognier's or Pinot's, uh, all those French grapes. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, San Giovese is completely different in that it has like an oaky cherry, like more mm. of a spice to it. Um, it's definitely very unique, but it's really fantastic by itself, similar to the Merlot. I've often heard Dave describe it as the white drinker's red. So someone who's maybe not into reds or wanting to try and uh, switch to reds, uh, it's a good like kind of starter red. Right? So um, see what you think of that one. It's definitely got more of that like peppery, cherry, oak, oakiness to that. Um, the three main adjectives I get from the same way. So they have the Definitely cherry, a um, little, pe little, pe little pepper in there for sure. Mm -hmm. it's peppery. It is very peppery. I get like the peppery more than the cherry when I drink it. Yeah. I, got, I got cherry more on the Merlot. I would say on the first one. Yeah. Then I got wood on the second one. Mm -hmm. Then I got pepper on this. There you go. So yes. <laughs> we're just not. <laughs> Me being a real scientist at measuring. Oh, maybe I should record myself. Yeah, you You're should. the influencer, not the scientist, clearly. <laughs> Three counts. That's okay. Louise. He feels like vomit to me. Yeah. Uh, like I like gin. Yeah, it's like an old person's <laughs> drink. Well, that, that makes sense. sense. Yeah. <laughs> You've never heard me speak the garlic. No, I no, have not. I forgot. <laughs> I never had. Ooh. Put the legs on that one. Put <laughs> the legs on that one. So what, I should be going to the line? Spicy. Or should, yeah, going to the just, top? Or should I be going? Yeah, so just pour whatever your blend is and make sure it all equals to the out line. To okay. Yeah. This is my love, right? Okay. That's Let's see how we're going to take this three will to start six. Will stay on the bottle? Mm -hmm. Like directly on the bottle? It will. Yes. Send you a visit. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm thinking what I want to name my wine. I can't remember what I really want to name it because. Ooh, spicy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you really want to name it? Now we need to know. Oh my god! <laughs> we may have. No, actually. No, we moved it over. Uh, so, Look at that. Like what am I gonna name her? <laughs> Mother's mix. <laughs> See 
how our soil is, um, how the red clay is impacting it and how all of the acidity and everything like that is impacting the final result. Um, so it's really cool how Period. our grapes are coming out a little bit different, but they're, that I big fan that. right there, whenever it comes to bud break, we'll turn that on and that kind of keeps the vines warm. So it'll blow, right. blow warmer air across the, um, across the grapes and it'll... Into the thick of it! Bow! <laughs> Think of it. This would be a Merlot. Um, right? So y'all can just like pick a berry. Mm. Mm. This is so fun. It, ha it does have seeds in there, so be careful. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. It's like a sweet tart. Really. This is really like I like wild berry. Yeah. Like we used to eat stuff off trees as a kid. Like all the time. And you didn't know what it was. Yeah, and then, That's what that tastes like. Yeah, exactly. So we still have a few months left on it to get fully ripened, but you can tell we're kind of getting there. So really exciting. Wow. So it is crazy that they're growing. Like we have a red down here and a white over here, but this is probably a Chardonnay grape. See, it's right just like yeah. what you would eat as a kid. Mm -hmm. Just pulling something off a tree, mm -hmm. not knowing what it is. That's a Chardonnay eating. grape for sure. So you can, Chardonnay has such a distinct white grape flavor. It's really, really tart, really tart, acidic. Very tart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very tart. <laughs> Your face is telling me not to put this in my mouth. But no, hey, you can try it. it. Like, yeah. It's a Georgia grape, hey. <laughs> um, but once we come back, I'll take you guys back up here and we'll get really, really good picks. <laughs> it's very tart. Oh it's very tart. <laughs> inside of this and so what they'll do is uh, they'll fill it with grapes so there's Chardonnay or Pinot or uh, Petit Verdot, Cabernet, Malbec, whatever we're using um, and it'll inflate and push all the grapes towards the side of this big room right here and all the juices will come out and collect the Ooh, and then juicy. all the seeds and the grape skins and everything else stay inside so it makes it a little bit easier. And the twigs. Yeah, right. Because no one's perfect yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> practice when I preach you guys I brought sunscreen and Evian spray in case we get hot out <laughs> So we came to Cavender Creek. It's very creaky. <laughs> it's definitely 
publishes for you came here for the fuck it's amazing this peach one is really really good but um come to Kaya not Cabernet Creek Lisa is outside every K day ends with a target run We're not here for anything in particular, but we're here for everything. Safety first. So since the last time I vlogged, I also spilled <laughs> Mexican food on my dress. I am not used to wearing white. You guys know I love all black. So this is a stretch. And yeah, definitely messed up my dress, but I loved it. Such a good dress. Put my bag in my cart. So, if you guys saw Vlogmas this past year, whenever we get together and we have like a fun day, we like to go to Target. So, this looks like a small Target, but we're here to go through every aisle and find everything we need. My mom sent me this little workout outfit that I hope they have here. So, yeah, I'll see if there's anything else I need, but can never go wrong with a Target run, clearly. I love her, by the way. It's so cute, but like, where am I going? This pack is so cute. <laughs> well, that's pretty much how it should be. It just feels so unfinished in the inside. It looks unfinished on the inside. Yeah. They cut that little fold. They're so soft. Who is it? Yeah. Mm, I haven't even like cleared out my room yet, but those are so cute. Well, they clearly have a lot. We found it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I want this to have a cake on. I like that. No, I meant that. Well, this Target vlog is over because they don't really have anything good here. So we'll see you guys later. Hey guys. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but I want to close out the vlog here. My wine is in my car, but Kendra pretty much, we pretty much got the same wine to come home. So I'm going to share with you what she got. Did I get the blue? Okay, so this is the Kaya Sweet Blue. This was so good. Like, oh my gosh. Like, the wines we had when we were doing the Bordeaux mixing were amazing, but the wines we had upstairs were a little better. <laughs> so, this is, yeah, they're falling. So, this is a sweet blue. It was everything. And they said you can order these online, so I'll link it down below. The fifth anniversary. This is really good. Um, it's really complex. It wasn't too sweet. It wasn't too dry. I really liked it. The blend that I made had this in it with the Gen Genovese or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, baby, I'm wrong. Sauvignese or something like that. <laughs> and then I got the Torica Dulce. Yeah. Ooh, this is your girl she is that girl so this i'm gonna try to pronounce it okay the toriga dulce georgia a 2015 estate this is amazing so i got one of these as well um oh gosh i wish you guys could taste it so so good it's like sweet but heavy and not too peppery it was just everything i wish i could have had this as a blend in my Bordeaux mixing. So yeah, I got one of those. If you guys are ever in Georgia or visiting, you should go to Kaya Vineyards. We went to Cadaver and Cadaver. 
Cavender Creek, aka Cadaverin Cavern. I would not suggest it. Um, zero out of 10 would not recommend. Um, the slushes were great, but besides that, but if you are in Georgia, I would highly recommend you going to Kaya Vineyards. It was amazing. We're definitely going back, um, probably like in the fall time. This was the best day ever. Got my white dress all dirty. That means it was a great day, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will link everything down below. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.